Hey guys, this is Shannon with Nearly Organic Noshing and quite a few of you have been private messaging me and commenting on this video asking when am I going to do the follow-up. And this is uh, the egg preservation in the hydrated lime. I did this back in February. I started it on Valentine's Day, February 14th. Um, I think it was around the 20th or so whenever I completely filled it to the top and put the lid on it. Um, my eggs, my chickens were producing amazing at the time. So I was able to just take all the eggs and completely fill this up. Um, and I had saved um, like a week's worth of eggs already. And that went in here and filled it up about a quarter of the way. So let's go ahead and pop the top and see what this looks like. This is just a regular five gallon bucket and I have the solution in here. So this is what they look like. Um, move them around. Looks like one. Oh, this one's got a crack in it. That's why it's floating. All right, I'm gonna um, float test these before I um, before I cook them. But I have a couple of guys today that are going to be my guinea pigs. And I'm also gonna top this off with a solution before I put it back, um, if everything is good. So I have some absolute freshest eggs over in a bowl on the counter. And so I'm gonna go ahead and take these out and float test them. And then, as you can see, it is brunch time on Sunday. I am making a whole bunch of bacon, and so I'm gonna make the guys some bacon, eggs, and toast. I'm par cooking about three pounds of bacon for the week. So I'm gonna float test these, and then I'm gonna cook them up and have the guys blind taste test them. Just fried eggs and over easy, if I cannot bust a yolk. Okay, so I just have a bowl of water here and I'm gonna take a couple of the eggs out and just put them in the bowl and see what happens. They are all sinking to the bottom of the bowl. So, looks good so far. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get these washed off and keep them in one bowl and then I'm going to wash off a couple of my fresh eggs put them in another bowl so that I can keep track of which ones are which and go ahead and get them cooked up. Okay guys I still have the bacon going in this pan but this one I cleared off so I'm going to go ahead and crack the eggs. I cracked another one um, whenever I was washing it in the sink so I'm just going to do three of them. Oh, and it just went all over the place. Let's try another one. This one looks okay. That one does not look okay. This one looks okay. This one doesn't smell bad, but the way it was all mixed up in the shell, I am not going to feed this one to someone. So I'm going to get this one out and throw it away. Alright, I think for this to truly be accurate, I need to pull a couple more eggs out and float test them and try them to see if they turned out like this first egg. Okay, I just went ahead and busted the yolk in this one and to make it a fried egg. Um, looks okay, smells okay, but I uh, float tested four more, rinsed these off, so I'm going to go ahead and try these. And I have found that quite a few of them have cracked in the bucket. 
And what I think it is, is I did not fill the bucket all the way up to the top. And I have moved it around in my pantry a couple of times and I could hear them jostling around in there. And even though I was trying to be really, really careful, I think I jostled them and cracked some of them. So of the ones I pulled out, like the first couple I pulled out were cracked. So I don't know if I need to get another bucket and um, inspect these one at a time and move them to another bucket of solution. I'm not sure. So we'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these two. smell good. They smell like eggs. Pull these two off and crack the last two I float tested. One thing I'm noticing is the yolk is cracking so much easier than a fresh egg. That is one thing. But they smell fine. All right, I'm gonna finish cooking these up and then cook up my fresh eggs. And just so you can get an up close look of what they look like cooking. This one, as soon as I opened it, the yolk was busted. These others are seeming to stay intact. Okay, these are three of my fresh eggs. They don't seem quite as runny. Um, the yolk seems a little more solid. Take you guys in for a closer look. Okay, these are my fresh eggs. So they seem like they may just be holding together a little bit more, but it, I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. It just seems like they're not quite so watery, maybe. That's the word I'm looking for. They seem like they are holding their shape a little bit better and not quite so watery and runny but that could have also been they're a little stale, the others, and they've been jostled around quite a bit, moving them around in my pantry. Okay, so these are the eggs, the preserved eggs from the bucket, and these are the farm fresh eggs. So I'm gonna salt and pepper these and grab a couple of forks and go around and let the boys try them. Okay, so I have my first victim to try these eggs, all right? Go ahead. Doesn't matter which one. Doesn't first. matter which one. Okay. And I know they're not perfectly over easy, but. Okay. I'm gonna try one of these or is sure. Easier. Uh huh. Those are the ones that are uh, more over easy than fried. Okay, try from the other plate. Anything you want to try on the other plate. Some of them are kind of over easy and some of them are more fried. None of these are over easy. Well, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> the bacon crumbles were making them stick to the pan and not flip over very well. Any difference between the two? Would you, you know, hazard a guess? They had a funny, it had a funny aftertaste. Okay. Not at first, but after, there was an aftertaste after that. Would you have noticed it if you weren't comparing the two side by side? Probably. A little bit, uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, I taste it right now. Yeah. Yeah, it's a funny Tastes like salty or? Almost like um, metallic or um, 
it's hard to describe, but it's definitely got a, a natural aftertaste. Okay. All right. Yep. That's the one that has the from the bucket eggs. Okay. Are all these th these are all from the bucket? And these mm -hmm. are from the from uh, these are fresh. Yeah. 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 That definitely. Have you tried it? Nope. Yeah. Well, you'll see what I mean. All right. These these taste normal. These are fine. That one definitely has. Uh, not at first. Not when you first eat it. It's like after after a few seconds, you, you can taste the funny. Think if I put them in a cake or something like that, you'd notice. I don't know. Maybe a cake. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Let me go see if I can get Jane to try this. Two different ones. There's two different ones. Some of them are saved since February. In my bucket in the pantry in the lime solution and the others are fresh eggs some of them are cooked a little more than others but but each one's different each so plate one's is going to be fresh and one's going to be so it doesn't matter which it egg. doesn't matter which egg you try for, it's just as long as you try them from each plate See if your discerning palate can taste the difference. I think these are the new ones. Those are which ones? The new ones. You think those are the new ones? Yeah. Those are actually the ones from February. Okay. So they don't taste really any different to you? No. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. I'll be back with your full plate of food in a minute. Okay, guys, so there you have it. Jaden could not tell a difference between the two. Um, Chris said he could tell a distinct difference. Um, I tried some of these. I'm going to take a bite of this and then compare it immediately to some of the others. Trying to do this one hand, not easy. I'll just use my fingers. They taste so similar to me. Um, maybe a little drier, I don't know if that's something. Like these seem like they held their moisture a little more and these seem a little drier, but then again, it may be how I cooked them. I cooked these first. I'm not really sure, but I don't know. They, they taste pretty darn similar to me. And if the guys don't like them or if Chris doesn't like them as just fried eggs, then this may be a great way to preserve them just for baking. If he doesn't like them fresh, then I can definitely use them in baking. So if I have time, um, I'll do an, uh, another taste test with them cooked in muffins or cookies or something like that and post any results, you know, cake. like that. Cake. He's, he's hollering cake. He wants cake. So <laughs> maybe I'll do some cake. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and that the, uh, the results were what you were hoping for.